Hello everyone, a great math challenge today, 4 plus 4 times 4 divided by 4 and plus 4. All the time we have 4, so this is challenge you've ever seen, because all the time we have 4, we have addition, multiplication, division, once more addition, so everyone learned this stuff in the 4th grade, so that's fantastic. So right now go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, we have 3 options. A, B, and C. So choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? And write your option down into the comment section. We will check our answers here in just 30 seconds, so it will be really interesting. So right now we want to start with this first explanation. So we have 4, we have plus 4 times we have 4 divided by 4 and plus plus 4. Here is our question. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, we have right here we have addition, right here we have multiplication, right here we have division. So a lot of mathematical operations of addition right here, division right here, multiplication and addition, a lot of mathematical operation. And obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, because we can't solve our challenge randomly, we can't solve this challenge chaotically, we can't solve this challenge wherever we want. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because for example, if you start with addition, like we have 4 plus 4 equal to 8, 8 times 4 we have we have 30, 32, 32 divided by a, by 4, we have, we have 8, and 8 plus 4 equals to 12. We have this option, this is 12, but it's a randomly method. We need to prove that this is a correct answer, we need to show that this is a correct answer. So right now, in this interpretation, in this second interpretation, what do we have right here? We have 4 plus 4 times 4 divided by 4 and plus 4. Right now we need to know about order of operation. Right now let's look for example at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All most popular internet libraries, a scientific graphing calculator works according to this PEMDAS. So right now let's let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. So how does this PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Next we should evaluate exponents. Next we should evaluate multiplication division group. And the last step is addition and subtraction group. So higher position means higher priority. In our case, parentheses has the higher position than exponents, so parentheses has the higher priority than exponents. Multiplication has the lower priority than exponent because exponent is higher, has the higher position than multiplication, so that's how it works. Okay, higher position, higher priority, and it means parentheses has the higher priority and the lowest priority has uh, the addition and subtraction. So right now let's scan what do we have right here from the top to the bottom. So the first step according to PEMDAS is parentheses. So right now let's scan where do we have this parentheses right here. Let's look at this. I don't have any of those. We don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses. What about exponents? Maybe we have squares, cubes right here. I don't have any of those. We don't have any exponents, so we can also skip this part. We don't have any powers like for square, for cube. If you have it, we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses, and it turns into a big argument because a lot of students confused about it, and we don't have it, and it's really great. Right now, the next step, multiplication and division group. This is one common group because a lot of students forget about it, and a lot of students say that multiplication had the higher priority than division, or division had the higher priority than multiplication, it not works like that. Multiplication and division in terms of PEMDAS works in the same in the next way. Multiplication and division had the same priority, so this is one common group. And right now let's scan where do we have this group, multiplication division group. Let's scan from left to right, so right here we have multiplication, and right here we have we have division. Okay, so really interesting. So right now, multiplication, division part, multiplication right here, division right here, but here is the main thing, what is the correct order to this problem? Multiplication first or division first? Or, or, or division first, then multiplication first? Because it turns into a big argument, a lot of students arguing with each other what we should do at first, but here's my answer. According to PEMDAS order of operation, uh, we need to find what is the first sign from left to right, multiplication or division. In this case, multiplication is the first from left to right, so first we should evaluate the expression where do we have multiplication sign, and second step is division sign. So let's do this, so right here multiplication part, we have 4 plus 4, 4 times 4 we have 16, so let's write our, our 16 right here, or something like that, yeah, we have 16, and plus, and a division by 4, don't forget about this, we have to here division by 4, and plus, and plus 4, because we still have this division, and we need to do this division right here, so 16 divided by 4 equal to, equal to 4, so we have right here 4, plus 16 divided by 4 equal to 4, and plus, 4, which is equal to 4 plus 4 equal to 8, and 8 plus 12, 8 plus 4 equal to equal to 12, and this is option B. And uh, as you can see right here, we solve this challenge, we have this option, this is option B. But here is the main question, is it a correct solution or, or not correct? Here is my answer. Of course, this is a correct solution because we solve it according to PEMDAS order of operation here, step by step. 
parentheses, then exponent, then multiplication division group, and the last step is addition subtraction group. So I forget about this. We have this third part. The, this is our addition. So we don't have subtraction. So here's my answer to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new. I hope your answer is the same as mine because this is a very tricky challenge. And it happens sometimes that a lot of students confuse, a lot of students don't know what is the correct order of operation. But a lot of students in the same way should know about this about this property. If you have multiplication by four, and if you have division by four, we can easily cancel this because this looks like four plus four minus four times four divided by four, so it changed nothing. So we can easily cancel this. And as a result, we have 4, 4, and 4, which is equal to 12. This is my explanation to this challenge. I hope your answer is the same as mine. You can also check this answer in your calculator, but don't use a regular calculator because, you know, sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. Try to find, like, a better calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem, and then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. So here's our answer. Option B, I hope you understand it. Also, write your question down into the comment section, write your suggestion. And thank you for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day.